living out your calling one of my most favorite people in the bible is joseph i love joseph because he demonstrated great faith in the midst of great trials and hardships on the road to his purpose there is a lot that can be learned about the process of living out your calling from the story of joseph there are three things which we can easily apply to our own life as we strive to live out our God-given purpose and vision. Number one, avoid sharing your vision with everyone. One key thing that can be learned from Joseph's story is the importance of safeguarding your purpose. Even though you would like everyone to be happy for you, the truth is not everyone wants to see you succeed. Many times, if you are not careful, the enemy will use those closest to you to discourage you and distract you from what God has called you to do. The enemy is not fighting you because you are weak or because you are a woman. The enemy is fighting you because you have a vision and a purpose. Seek godly counsel from your pastor or mentor and share your vision with them so that they can receive encouragement and directions on how to move forward. Number two, keep your integrity in the midst of testing. Remember, when God begins to open up doors for you to walk in your purpose, you will be tested. The key to more favor and more open doors is to keep your integrity. There is nothing in this life worth more than your God-given purpose. Joseph was tested by his master's wife and more than anything, he was concerned about doing something that was not pleasing to God. You will be tested, but you must be determined to hold on to your integrity at all costs. Number three, don't allow your situation to drown out your purpose. Joseph was determined to shine no matter what situation. After his master's wife lied on him and he was thrown into prison, he kept walking in his purpose. God called Joseph to be a ruler, so no matter where he went, he carried the favor of God with him. He did not walk around with his head held low because that would have been contrary to God's purpose for his life. He continued to let his gifts open doors for him and that was eventually what set him free and propelled him into the fullness of his purpose. When you make up your mind to not allow your circumstances to drown out your purposes, God will give you great success just like he did to Joseph. I pray that we will be confident women who will live out our calling and purpose with determination, integrity, and faith. God be with you until next time.